the second Trimpa we pulled up to, and I think they're gonna give us a bunch of the scraps so we could use for bait. This is our third boat we've checked, and he said that they had a terrible night of shrimping. No trash, so three times struck out so far. It's a full grown one. We're gonna keep this one just crashing. So basically the whole thing with this is you pull up to the shrimp boat and they're hauling out their catch. They're separating their shrimp from the trash. So you got fish like bonitas, cobias, tunas that follow the shrimp boats around and they're looking for the scraps. And we're feeding them the scraps. We got a bunch of jigs and all sorts of stuff. Brick just put a bonita in the boat, but we're looking for blackfin tuna mainly. <laughs> Get them up. I was just tossing the bucktail jig and I'm pretty sure I hooked a bonita. Could be a tuna, you don't know. Was. <laughs> Was. All right guys, fourth boat, tied on a new jig. Beefed up the leader. So this is like the fifth boat we pulled up on and every single boat's a little bit different. Sometimes you got a bunch of sharks in the slick. This one is a mixture of sharks and bonitas. No tunas yet, but Cody and Justin say that when you pull up on the right boat, you'll know because the black things will just be up top and there'll be a feeding frenzy. So, you gotta find the right boat. And we're hooked up on the Mustad Bucktail Jig. You guys know. You guys have a basket of trash. Oh, load it up, I'll give you a bunch of beer. We got, hey, a bunch of beers, man. More than beer here. So that's it. Trade them some beer, they give you the bait, and you're good to go. It's currency for fishermen, huh? Yeah, it's cool. And then you get your own chum slip going because it's what they're eating, and you get all the stuff that they're eating. Get him, Victor. That was on the. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's about to do it. I know. Brought that all the way down. Oh my god. Oh, was that on you, Cody? Oh, you got him. You got him. Take it. Or do you want me to fight? Go over me, go over me. Okay, so there is a ton of bonita in the slick, only a few, like maybe three or four black fins we've seen. And Cody actually washed his black finny. It's absolute chaos out here. I just hooked one on the uh, top water where I'm pretty sure I had a black fin that got cut off by the prop of all things. Yeah, nice Come here, come here, come here. Ooh. Nice. Boom. It's big and I'm tired and I'm super stoked that we got them because the sashimi is going to be so nice tonight. There you go. We got eaten by a shark. We have to re rig like every single rod on the boat. We had a lot of break offs, a lot of cut offs, a lot of shark eats, but this is how it should be. That was just one tuna and they're all big around these shrimp boats. They're just gluttons because they eat all the scraps from the. Uh, the shrimp boats and they they there's hundreds of these shrimp boats out here so they probably just follow them around all day long every single day and they learn and they got an easy food source available to them tuna's got you speechless well we just got some more bait and i don't know if it's a bonita or a tuna you gotta kind of feed through the bonitas to get a tuna Yeah? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. On the top, baby. Somebody put it because it's too good this year. I'm going to try to make it. Yeah, and this is all. What was your fish, bro? A bonita. A bonita? Yeah, a Um, uh, You can fish for a little bit. Oh, there he is. What was that? You yeah. just ate your thing. What? That's the tuna, isn't it? No freaking way. Cody, was that on that crazy lure? No. You've got the lure right there. 
<laughs> but, I mean, I would say 90% chance the fish is eaten by a shark. Especially out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. That's why. Yep. There goes that. Oh, no. That was good, oh. Justin. Shut up, bitch. Did you get sharks? No, Justin dropped the lure on the <laughs> Bust it right off. Well guys, it's absolutely crazy. Cody lost a tuna. We got a little bit of a tangle going on, but you know, we'll get him. Oh, oh god. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, that was a good blow up, wasn't it? What's going on, Brooke? Um, well, I have a bonita, and do you think the fight's about to end and then a shark chases them and they go freaking berserk? <laughs> so Cody's trying to pick out his fish, not let the bonita eat it. His bait's right there. And that big tuna just comes up and Smacks the base every once in a while. Right there. Right there. What do we got in there, boys? A little shrimp. Some crab action. Right, Rock shrimp. <laughs> Rock shrimp. Oh, there he is. He ate the flounder again. Is there another flounder in there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that sexy. Can we get that? Oh, no, that's mine. Nice. What do you got? Yeah, see how this works out. Get straight into the middle of a tornado of sharks. <laughs> they just don't really eat them that often. Jesus. What do you mean? They're gonna eat the crap out of them. That reel sounds good. Oh, this reel? Yeah. This is a charger reel. Hot. This one's been around the block. So Cody's got his black fin on and Basically that big pile of trash that those guys gave us, there's all sorts of stuff in there. I mean, you got baby flounder, parrotfish, ribbon fish, shrimp, manna shrimp, rock shrimp, just all sorts of bycatch that they have from dragging the bottom. Because that's what they do when they shrimp, is they drag the bottom, you have a ton of bycatch. You got it? Yes. Look at that. Yeah, Cody! You got one to the boat! I'm done. <laughs> Just kind of like keeping it up above the water until the tunas come in. Hold your fish up. You want to like keep it away from the bonitas. And then when the tuna comes up, you almost want to see him. You want to see him coming from down deep and then throw it, slap the water with it so that way he thinks it just got thrown in. And uh, they're all pretty big out here. They're on 18 to 30 pounds, most of them. Out of all that trash, you try to find the biggest bait in there. A blackfin just ate it, but dropped it so I'm gonna get it back in the slick you know you got Greg throwing all that stuff in and you want him to just think it's another piece of the trash cool. there's a big bull oh, got him. that's him that's him yeah that's him that's him nice. big nice. black fin nice. big oh, oh, oh. Yes. that's the hook is small I think isn't it no that's no? huge that's the one Victor what are you doing over there <laughs> that was him you get him I don't know. That was him. He's he's on, on. He's here, here, Victor. Here, Victor. Oh, Take this one. I don't know if you got him now, but he's here. You, you got it. Fight it. Fight it. No, 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 no. Someone catch this tuna. Come on. It's Why do you guys want day. me to do it? Because you're a better model. <laughs> they just <laughs> don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Alright, guys. We got a black fin hooked up. Only took seven tries, but we finally got it done. Yeah, so it's, it's tough because you're trying not to hook a shark, you're trying not to hook a bonita, you're trying to only hook the black fins. And you're basically pitching it at like at the perfect time trying to see where the tunas are coming up because they come up in the same spot as the slick. Cody's up there basically as my frigate bird telling me exactly where to cast. Just like that. Oh yeah, baby. Dude, they do not pinwheel here like you're saying. They drag you all over the place. I'll take gas. We need a gaff on this fish right here. It's here. It's right here. There's a follower right there. Oh my god. Big follower. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't know that's the gaff. Look, right here. A follower. This fucking gaff is so ridiculous. Nice. Atta boy, Reed. Atta boy. Woo! Alright, guys, there it is. So we're after right there. Beautiful black fin tuna, all stud fish, and like that. 20 plus pound class range. You guys hear that it's going off back there. Everybody's hooked up. Such beautiful fish and such an epic fishery. Hey Justin, big yes. thanks for inviting us out, man. No problem, guys. Big old eyeballs, very smart fish. And there's a reason there's not as many of these things as there are the bonitas. 
And there's a reason the bonitas are a lot easier to hook. Much smarter fish right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't catch another one. <laughs> the bass rod just looks too inviting. Make it sporty. Yeah. Hooked off the roof. It came off right there. Never mind, it just came off. Very disappointed. The reason we're catching fish is because of Greg. Oh, right that, here. that was a tuna there. <laughs> Thank Greg you, Greg. Give Greg a like. He's at it nonstop, chumming it up for us. Putting us on a good bite. So the last boat that we went to, they hooked it up with bait. Look at this. Look at all these little totes they gave us. Just full of shrimp and crabs and all sorts of bycatch. Cody's on top of the T-top, so he has a bird's eye view of what's going on. So he's kind of telling us. You gotta avoid the shark. Oh, you got a shark. shark. Oh. Yeah. Alright, let it. Look at this shark. Look at that shark. Okay, cast it out to the right. No, straight in the slick as far as you can. That's fine. That's fine. You might come to it. Nice. Hey, Ruru, you got him. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job, bro. Oh. 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 Yes. Good job. <laughs> I'm going up front, going up front. Just follow him around wherever he goes. That is where we're going to Grab that rag. Woohoo, baby! Give him that arm. Straight up to the top. Yep. So weird. The well, last one I hooked went straight down and just wasn't stopping, and then the hook fell. Are you asking? Yeah. Stay right here on the reel. One more time. Go, end game right here. One more turn. Can you break? Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. This is a big boy. Coming to you. Yeah! I think that's my biggest black fin. Yeah, I do. There we go, baby! <laughs> my biggest black fin on the shrimp boats. Heck yeah. All lit up. So, this is like the eighth boat we've pulled up to. A good amount of tuna here. You bought a lot of bonitas. We got Kalen hooked up. What we're looking for, the bonitas you guys can see, they're real light blue. The tunas, they'll be black. It looks Love like hand. something black shooting through the water. Look at it, look at this! Giant tuna! Giant tuna! I know. It's just when it goes down. Are we real? Of course. We were changing the batteries. I sit here for 10 minutes with the camera on, so I gotta turn it off. Real? 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 Yeah? Right there. Got it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Is this your biggest blackfin tuna? I've never caught one before. Yes. No way! Yeah. Blackfin? My first one? Nice! Alright, tuna coming to the house. Kaylin just got a nice one as well. Big one. Come to the house! Come to the house! Oh. He's got it! He's got it! Yeah, I want to stop! That was a good shot right there. Hell yeah! Good job, Greg! Yeah. Nice gap shot. Nice fish, dude! Look at that hook <laughs> in the tip! That's in the tip! Watch how how easily that hook came out right there. That one. Okay. Look at that fish. Yeah, they don't really fit. Yeah. That's a pretty big one too. The fish with your fish. I'm not gonna take credit for hooking this one. The you kind of put the boots. There's doing a tuna that. right next. Yeah, to look at him. See the tuna chasing him. Cody up top literally has been pinching the tunas from up there. Coming in, coming in. Oh, oh real, real. Ooh. I winged him. Real. <laughs> nice. Right in the corner. I got that whole thing. Wait, wait. Got it. Hell yeah. That's been killing it on the gap today. 
Where'd that fish come from? That's all I got left. Oh. That's a lot of fish. That's the boat that we initially pulled up on, and we're, you know, a good half a mile away from it. You pull up to the boat, and those fish are around it. They stay around the boat, waiting for the shrimp fishermen to toss their stuff over, and then you become the chum boat, start tossing stuff, and then you just drift, and you gradually pull all those fish off that shrimp boat, and they become yours. So I'm pretty sure every single person on the boat has caught one now. Katie's gonna get hers. Justin, Kaylin, Reed, Greg, Brookie, I, and of course Cody, we all got one, which is awesome. All right guys, that's the total tally. We got 10 all real black fins, all 20 plus pound fish. Thanks to that boat right there. And the many other shrimp boats out here. We got to give a big thank you to this guy right here. We got Justin. And then this guy right here, he kept them coming the entire time, just tossing those chunks and tossing those chunks, and that's a major key in this. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Great trip, brother. Girls have fun? Oh yeah, tons of fun. <laughs> Some people, a great day. We might be a little sore tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We caught a lot of fish in a short period of time. Yeah, that's so we will be catching you guys in the dock. Yeah, we got a ton of tuna to fillet. Right here by the peck fin. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be over here in a little bit. Yeah, Get on that fish's spine right here. Kind of just work your way up with the knife resting on the spine. And go all the way to the backbone. Tuna can be kind of tricky to fillet once you remove one side because they kind of just flop over because since they're so round. So I like to do the outlines on both sides before I finish. So once again, around the peck fin, into the head meat right there. Down to the belly, around the collar. And then same thing, we're gonna just outline our fish once again. Around the spine once again. There's your other tuna line. You guys see it's much easier to do it like that. You don't miss a lot. Because when this tuna, when you get one side off, it folds over on itself and then it becomes very difficult to fillet. Major key is get rid of all this bloodline right here. You can be pretty generous and pretty liberal. Go on both sides of that bloodline because that is the part of the fish that's gonna go bad the fastest. Brookie says there's a bunch of tarpon, so let's do a little feeding. You ready? Yeah. They're ready too. Oh yeah. yeah. The dorsal fin's out of the water. Oh my gosh, that pop, huh? Ready? Nice big chunk of tuna. See how they freak out? Good. So you guys saw how I filleted it. Normally you do, a lot of people separa separate them out into loins. I just did the one side and then I cut out the bloodline in the middle. And that's what you end up with. Your two nice top loins, your two bottom loins. If you're interested in the knife that I use today, this is an eight inch Dexter Sportfish knife. You guys can save 20% off use code Landshark. Great knife, especially for tunas, wahoos, and bigger fish. One of my favorites. 10.30 and we are about to start cooking a really long day but a really fun day. So we're going to keep it nice and light after a long hot day in the sun. We're going to do a little pepper crusted seared tuna and a really light salad to go with it. So in here I have minced ginger, three cloves of garlic, some chives, four limes, the juice of four limes, and there's also a little bit of this. 
Mandarins are going to be in our salad. I think they're a nice, vibrant, super fresh thing to throw in there. It gives it color and gives it a good sweetness. And then if you take the liquid that's in here, you can use it as your salad dressing, actually. So that's what is in here. The mandarin juice and lime juice. To give it some salinity, we're going to go, within, go in with some soy sauce. Half a cup of soy. And then we're going to do around just under a quarter cup of sesame oil. We need about a teaspoon and a half. Now we mix. And the mustard's just gonna help kind of bring everything together. It doesn't do much for the flavor. It's just gonna have a little bit of salt. So this is just super, super fresh. You know, ginger, garlic. I wanted to add cilantro, but Publix was completely out of cilantro. You get the sweetness from the mandarins, the saltiness of some saltiness from the soy. It's just gonna be real good. Mmm. Oh hell yeah. So for the tuna, look at these beautiful big watermelon-like loins of the blackfin. We're just gonna do a pepper crust. Chad, if you're watching from New England, this is from you, man. That pepper crust on that bluefin tuna, that was still some of the best tuna I've ever had. And you'd think that straight pepper is overpowering, but it really is not. All three sides. Pan is nice and hot, going down with some sesame oil. Okay, we're going down. Three seconds on each side. fish is off and now I don't have my sashimi knives with me but this is just a Dexter 9 inch flexible fillet look at that beautiful if you can get one stroke without it tearing you know your knife is sharp and you need a sharp knife for this that outside is barely cooked it's gonna be delicious little Asian crunchy noodles some red onion some tomato the mandarin, the cucumber, and then you got some romaine hearts underneath. And then here is our little vinaigrette. We're just gonna toss right over. With all your fresh ginger and everything. Dinner is served. Here's our salad all tossed up. Bunch of super fresh flavors in there. Freshly caught seared blackfin from today. Who's first, ladies? Oh gosh, no, it was Katie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's been dreaming of a salad, so you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Man, Victor, you really outdid yourself tonight, buddy. Fantastic. I, uh, I'm floored. I really like the uh, kind of nuttiness of the, the sesame oil and then the spice of the pepper and the dressing just kind of balances the whole thing, man. Fantastic. We got to give a big shout out to Luke. Luke, if you're watching in Fort Myers. Yeah. We hear you, buddy. Luke, buddy, can't wait to go fishing with you. We're going to have to come down and do this one time. You'd love it. Well, after a long day on the boat, fishing and eating sandwich after sandwich, everyone. We were all like, a salad sounds delicious. And Victor absolutely killed it. The freshest fish you could possibly get and it's so delicious. So good job, Vic. Thank you. Good I can't even stop eating it for like three seconds. <laughs> I'm not a food critic like Reed. It's just really, really, really good. So good. Nailed it. The, You're a great food critic. <laughs> the dressing is spectacular. Yeah, I have to agree. I, I feel like I've been eating chips and sandwiches for three days straight and I couldn't have asked for a better end of the day meal just than a fresh salad and the, the fruits of the labor basically. <laughs> <laughs> no other 
There's no better way to say it than that. It's very rewarding with all the hard work we put yeah. in. I mean, yeah. Unbelievable, and then so good. All right, so I want to thank you guys all so much for watching, and big thank you to this crew. We worked very hard, um, and big thank you to Mustad. These guys are all from Mustad, and um, I don't know if I did proper introductions earlier, but we got Reed, Kaylin, and Katie. And you know, we came here on a business trip and I'm pretty sure we're all leaving as friends. It was a great time. Big thank you to Cody, Greg, everybody who made this video possible. And of course, Brookie. Brookie filmed like crazy today. She got some insane shots for you guys. Once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The only reason I'm able to do this for a living is because of you guys at home. So I'll catch all you guys in that next one.